Breaking news out of the capital city tonight. Target 12 has learned Superior Court Judge and former Lieutenant Governor Richard Leach was hit by a vehicle outside the State House. I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kalunian. The 74 year old was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital with serious but non life threatening injuries, according to police. Let's get right to 12 News reporter Kayla Fish, who spoke to police about their investigation. Kayla, what can you tell us at this hour? Well, Kim Shannon, you can see behind me the scene is now clear, but just about two hours ago, this section of Smith Street right outside of the Rhode Island State House was blocked off with crime scene tape and police vehicles. Now let's go ahead and show you exactly what we saw earlier. Providence police tell us they got the call just after 6 p.m. for a pedestrian who was struck by a vehicle. That person identified by police as Richard Leach, a longtime fixture in Rhode Island politics. He has been serving as a Superior Court judge since 2014. Before that, he was lieutenant governor from 1985 to 89. Now, police tell us he's currently in critical but stable condition at the hospital, and there's been an outpouring of support on social media for Leach, as well as concern about the safety of streets in the city. Providence police tell us a yellow Jeep that was seen inside the area blocked off by crime scene tape was the vehicle involved in this crash, and the driver remained at the scene. We watched as the driver was eventually allowed to drive away in that vehicle after police took photos of the dashboard and exterior. Now we did ask whether the driver would be facing any charges here, but based on the information police received, we're told there doesn't appear to be anything criminal. Providence Police Captain Louis St. Lucas tells us they'll look into a number of factors, including the location of the accident, as well as speed, distraction or impairment. San Lucas also described the area where the crash happened. Take a listen. It's fairly well, well lit. It's, I mean, you have the speed bump there up, up on the top of the hill. Um, you have the crosswalk. So obviously it gets a little darker down the street, but it's well lit. We do not see a lot of accidents over here. Um, but we do not have what we tend to uh, see as, as speeding up here. Now, it does not appear that Leach was in a crosswalk when this accident occurred. The crash remains under investigation tonight, and this is the second time in less than 24 hours that Providence police were called to a pedestrian accident. Last night, we're told that police responded to a accident where a pedestrian was struck and killed by a hit and run driver on North Main Street. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.